Hello, this is uh, Ken Obasi Leslie here. It is Friday. I'm in my studio again, and uh, I'm going going to be working with you on some of the uh, art that uh, I do. Uh, one of the, one of the mediums that I love to work with, or should I say? One of the mediums, you know, is uh, is collage. You know, uh, it's I like to do a kind of a mixed media type thing and and bring different uh, issues together. You know, to create you know uh, harmony, balance, uh, a complementary kind of uh, exchange. You know. So, uh, again, I'm working on the uh, angel. Uh, in my other video, I was uh, uh, working with uh, Joe Fiel, you know. And I decided to go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, deal with a little collage um, in uh, more or less... Uh, uh, leveling up the piece or whatever you want to you know call it or whatever you know so um again i got my music going here um you know actually actually what i'm i'm playing is uh booger little he's a trumpet player from back in the day uh i was Kind of looking for the album cover, but uh, let's see. I know it's around here somewhere. Just a minute. Excuse me. I tend to I tend to lose stuff uh, in the studio. I mean, you know, it's just that, like, uh, this room is not really that big, you know, but hey, you know, as we get older, you know, things happen, so I'm not going to worry about it, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and flow and do my thing and and have some fun. Uh, let me show you the piece that I'm working on now. Okay. Uh, actually, most of the piece here is painted. You know, I, you know, I kind of fuse colors together, as you can see. And this piece is, is a collage piece that I decided to put in because I like the colors that was that's in this piece, which is kind of mixing and flowing with the other colors or whatever, you know. So, uh, uh, and I decided to do that, if you don't mind. So, um, primarily, um, uh, you know, most of the pieces that I have uh, traditionally worked on have been, uh, you know, a combination of a, a mixed media collage. Uh, here's another piece that, uh, uh, which is a, a mixture of uh, collage and, and uh, paint, uh, whatever, you know, call this piece the Cosmic Drummer, and uh, so, uh, you know, and there you are in terms of uh, uh, the process. Now, uh, one of the things that I uh, do when I work with collage, I uh, have a, a, a large... Uh, you might say a collection of images that I have uh, collected over the years and uh, you know I, I usually have them in a box or somewhere where they're very accessible um, you know where I can you know uh, just start going through them 
and uh, and just seeing, you know, because you know this process is so, and you know, and you know, I use this word all the time, so improvisational, so spontaneous, so uh, you know, and and sometimes I feel that uh, when you're working with a piece and uh, trying to, when you are. Uh, getting to the spirit of what you want to bring out of the piece. Uh, uh, sometimes, you know, it's just that like, it, it, it comes from a spontaneous realm, you know, and uh, so, uh, you know, you just kind of look through things and, uh, excuse me, yeah. and, uh, you know, and when you see uh, what you want, you know, then, hey, you go after, you know. So, uh, again, you know, it's just that uh, uh, this is what I'm doing now, um, you know, it's, and, and I'm just kind of, uh, you know, showing you just my pro process of uh, doing uh, collage work, you know. And, uh, again, uh, there's the image of Joe Fiel that so uh, what? Um, and sometimes you know, it, you know. Right now, I'm I'm looking for um, hands, you know, and and maybe I'm looking for uh, something that I could uh, uh, use in order to um, create a face. You know, I mean, you know, it's just that. Uh, Again, uh, the piece may, na may not need a face, you know, and uh, it's just uh, how everything works with everything else, you know. Uh, you know, I could say um, it is always good to. Uh, <laughs> Good at going to the studio and uh, you know start working with some. I, I don't, you know, and I say this all the time. You know, um, it doesn't matter what your creative muses uh, or whatever, you know. But right now is is the greatest time to be able to uh, to incorporate and pull that energy and you know and go deep and, and start dealing with it because it there there is so much confusion right now you know i mean politically uh socially uh you know it's just that uh, it's a lot of confusion but or even uh, you know i can use the word, word word chaos but all of this chaos can be utilized within yourself in terms of finding out what you need to do, you know, where you need to go, you know, how you need to deal with what you, you know, and, and it's, it's, you know, in other words, it's, it's kind of time to get out of it, get out of uh, watching the news and, and uh, I mean, you know, it's just that uh, because the biggest problem, uh, and I'm not going to speak specifically, I'm just speaking in generalities, uh, but, um, I mean, you know, the biggest problem is, uh, politics and, and, uh, uh, and money and, and, uh, greed and, you know, whatever word, you know, I mean, you know what it is, you know, I mean, most of you all can see what's going on and, uh, and it's not, uh, it, it, and, and, and again, it, it don't have to be even about you, you know, it don't even have to be about us, you know, it's just that, like, you can sit on the sidelines and, and just kind of just go ahead and just watch and, and, uh, watch in a detached way. You know, as to what's going on, and say, hey, well, you know, 
uh, what I probably need to do is get into something on my own where I could, uh, you know, get away from my uh, all of this stuff and, and create my own, uh, you know, create my own realm, create my own situation, and uh, you know, uh, hey, you know, and, and that is what uh, with this whole situation because we're going, to, we're going through a shift, we're going through a change, and things is gonna change whether we want this change or not, you know, I mean, it's going to happen, you know, so, I mean, you know, it's just that, uh, basically, a, a lot of this change is going to be uh, financial, you know, there's there's a change in terms of uh, fiat, you know, uh, you know, is uh, things are going from, you uh, from a, a physical kind of a thing to a more of a uh, cyber or, you know, it's just that uh, the, the, the money would be digital, you know, is basically one of the words I'm looking for. So uh, now, you know, it's just that, uh, you know, you know, and, and just to show you you know, how I work these pieces, you know, you know, as, um, right here is, is, is just a, uh, a texture and, and shapes and things, but, you know, I like it, you know, I don't, I don't know if it will work, um, and then again, if not, you know, uh, you know, I usually, you know, take it and I, I'll, I'll just keep it for a while and uh, and 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 see and you know and, and again like I said you know I have like a a, a box of uh, different images different you know different situations and and, uh, uh, and you know it's just kind of like uh, and as, as you go, you know, you just try to work out uh, the best you can uh, what kind of images will like flow and actually become a part of, uh, of uh, what you want, you know. Now, again, like I said, I'm, I'm looking for um, a hand uh, and, a, and you know and and a lot of times when I, I work with collage and I work with the uh, mixed media and everything and I'm not looking for perfection uh, you know so you know I'm looking for what can emotionally or spiritually uh, be a a factor or you know or something that will create because it's like uh, here uh, here's a hand and probably someone would probably say well that hand is like pretty big you know but it's big enough for me and uh, so I'm gonna use it. I like how it looks in terms of uh, where I'm trying to go with with this, and uh, yeah, and 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 there you are, right there, and then you know now. Usually what I use, and, and it doesn't matter, I use Elm, Elmer's glue. You could use uh, uh, Mod Podge or whatever, but usually, you know, I, I just just uh, work with the simplest of the simple. And, uh, you know, and I have a, a uh, 
a pan, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, glue and water. And, uh, you know, and, you know, and I will put, actually put the piece in there. And, uh, I, and a lot of times, you know, I look for the thinnest paper, you know, uh, when, you know, cause, cause if you use something too thick, you know, it's, uh, it's not going to adhere the way, uh, you want it to, you know, and, uh, cause like a lot of times you have to keep rubbing just to make sure that, um, uh, uh, you know, you get some of the bubbles out and, uh, you know, where you can smooth it out, you know, uh, there's an artist, you know, some people call him Ramiri, uh, I call him Ramir Bearden, uh, when I, uh, actually started, uh, working with collage, uh, I used to really study his, his style and his work and his application. And, uh, so that became, um, you know, the, uh, learning ground for, uh, working with, uh, you know, mixed media, uh, collage, you know, cause he's, he's also, he was also a mixed media artist. And uh, he uh, also worked with uh, watercolors and and uh, and paper and you know and uh, sometimes uh, cloth. Sometimes you know you, you know you, you work with cloth and and uh, find that to be uh, something that uh, will. Uh, you know, because, you know, there's certain designs that uh, really uh, bring out the... Now, there's there's a lot of uh, uh, contemporary collage artists that I love. And and uh, as we go on with this video, it's, it's so much that uh, I could show you, you know. I mean, in terms of artwork and the uh, application of things. And, uh, you know, it's just that um, I'm just going to do one step at a time and uh, and hope that you will enjoy uh, working with me and, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, the, so you could actually see how I'm uh, actually working with this stuff now, you know, because I'm doing this in real time with you, you know. So, uh, you know, it's just that, uh, uh, now I have a, another hand here that, uh, I don't, I, I really don't know if it will work or not, you know, and, uh, but, you know, we'll give it a try, and, we'll see, and, and what I'm doing here is, um, you know, actually cutting out the, the image. Sometimes I just tear the image. You know, uh, it just depends on uh, how I feel when I'm working with something. And, uh, and as I can see, uh, this is not going to work because, you know, it just, you know, the, the balance is not, uh, is not there. And, uh, you know, and when, when that happens, you know, I mean, you know, I know, you know, I mean, you know, it's just that, uh, sometimes, uh, and, and intellectually, you know, you don't always know why you know, you know, but, uh, but when you see it and you feel it and you put it, put it down and, and, uh, or if you see something that, uh, you know, uh, that you know is going to work, then you apply it, you know, and, and that's the process, you know, it's, it's no big secret and, and, uh, nothing that, uh, 
nothing that you have to go through what you call intense training or, or whatever you know I mean uh, you know a lot of a lot of artists go through school and they learn about color and composition and and uh, different things of that nature and I'm not, not I'm not knocking that you know I mean of course you know in my uh, since I you know uh, I uh, took certain classes in order to learn one of the things is how to learn how to be more uh, improvisational in terms of uh, working with uh, you know different things uh, you know sometimes the classes just give you the license to uh, say well oh okay you know that's okay that's, that's uh, just let it go and uh, you know and we could do this and we can do that and wow okay you know great you know and uh, so you know it's, it's, it's just a, a kind of a process of uh, of uh, uh, you know experimenting and, and seeing what's going to work uh, I'm gonna try this piece here uh, you know, and again, it may not work, but I'm going to give it a try. And uh, as you can hear, you know, my background music has, uh, you know, you, you know, because I, I play LPs and, uh, you know, and an LP has to be turned over on the other side so you know it's just that uh, it's not like uh, having an iPod or digital music on your phone or whatever you know I, I prefer playing LPs because there's a whole kind of uh, uh, vibration that comes from playing uh, vinyl as to listening to uh, something that's uh, holographic you know and uh, so let me turn this over and, uh, here Sebastian's in the back she usually likes to uh, She usually likes to be on top of my easel, but today I have a ladder in there. She's like loving, loving the ladder. And uh, there you go. The water. And uh, well, she's coming down. You know. Just, uh, But yeah, um, again, you know, I got the Boober Little on trumpet, and uh, I don't know what I did with the LP, the cover. Um, let me look and see if I can find it real quick. You know. did find it and uh, take this plastic off for you to see it and, uh, and here it is uh, is uh, Booker Little and it also has Booker Irvin uh, it's called sounds of the sounds of inner city and uh, this piece was done uh, well, I was just uh, trying to see around what year, but uh, actually I don't see uh, a 
a year on it um, anywhere, but uh, I would probably venture to say that it was done in the uh, early 60s, early 50s, you know, but, uh, but Burger Little is like one of one of my favorite, uh, and, you know, usually I pick these LPs up at, uh, at something like, you know, like, uh, you know, the stores, record stores or whatnot, you know, this one was like $5.99, but it's probably worth more, and, uh, but there you go, there you go, you know, and, uh, like I said, you know, you have that, you have that good music going, um, you know, um, you're, you know, you're in your, uh, in your place of, uh, of, uh, oh, okay, I think I found something that I may use as a face, or for the face, yeah, and, uh, Again, you know, it's just that uh, just because you think you found something doesn't mean that uh, it's going to actually work, you know. But uh, now, when I when I use faces, I love to break them down, you know. I don't like to use the entire face. You know, we're, we're, we are beings that, uh, that are, you know, I mean, we come from different strains and different, uh, uh, we're mixtures of, uh, different, uh, uh, you know, what, what is the word, uh, from different DNA, uh, mixtures, uh, I'm trying to look for the word, but, you know, a lot of times, you know, it's just that the word didn't come, but, uh, but, you know, we're, none of us are totally pure in, in, you know, in our species, you know, so maybe the words in species that I'm looking for, you know, and, uh, so a lot of times, in my breaking the face down uh, is kind of like an indication of, uh, you know, that we, we come from different breeds, from, from different blood types or whatever. And uh, so, and then, you know, it's just that, then I love to get away from race, which is, I find to be a uh, misnomer, you know, I mean, it's a, uh, I don't really believe there's anything called race, uh, you know, we're just a different uh, uh, species or, and different things that would not, you know, of course we have different skin colors, but, you know, uh, that has to do with, uh, you know, what you might want to call melanin or whatever. And uh, so, because, uh, you know, because it really, what really determines everything is what's on the inside and who we are on the inside and what we're dealing with in terms of our, our blood types and our DNA and all of that, you know. So, uh, so primarily, yeah, I have no problem in terms of uh, mixing different types of, uh, you know, uh, different types of colors together, you know. And, uh, but then, depending on how I feel, I may change it, you know. I mean, you know, it's just that, uh, I 
may change this and I may change that and, and uh, who knows but um, let's see I'm kind of looking at another hand kind of position and uh, which I'm, I'm kind of liking Again, always change. That's one of that's one of the reasons why I enjoy working with collage. And uh, kind of working with the, uh, you know, and sometimes you know you, you just kind of want to give it that abstract feel, you know, and uh, which, uh, you know, and deal with a little surrealism and everything, you know. So, uh, but yeah, um, you know, usually I, I try to keep my videos at about 30 minutes or whatnot, but I, I'll probably you know, do I would do another video, um, another upload, uh, working with this piece, and uh, but I'm I'm glad that you know uh, you are around to see me get started and you know see the process and all of that. You know, so um, hey, you know, um, until next time. This is Ken Obasi Leslie with. Uh, uh, you know, working with art, doing art with Obasi. All right, you have a beautiful day. You have a masterful day. And uh, until next time, Odabo.